First thing you need to do is to invite the ticket tool to your server. So you're gonna come here and click on invite ticket tool. Then once you get this page, you're going to select your server. Actually, I created this server for tutorial. So let's just click on continue and then come down and click on authorize. After that, you're going to do the captcha to prove that you are a human and not a robot. Actually, I'm a robot, as you can see. Anyway, you just come to the server. As you can see, the bot is in there. Now, the next step is to create a ticket channel. So we come here, just click on the plus sign and name the channel ticket tool, right? Or ticket, or anyway. Just click on create channel. After you do that, you just come here, edit channel, and then come to permissions and come to everyone and just lock the send messages and the add reactions, right? And then you're just gonna come here and click on the plus sign and add the ticket tool rule and, and scroll down and give it the permission to send messages and then just click on save changes. Once you've set up the channel, you're just gonna come again to the website of the ticket tool. Come here again and click on manage servers. Click on login with Discord, give it an authorize. And as you can see, I got the servers where ticket tool is in here. So just gonna click on manage. If this didn't appear actually, just gonna come to panel configs. Anyway, you're going to click on this plus sign and just name it ticket help one and click on create. After you did that, just save and then you're just gonna come to click on send and then select the channel and then click on send again. And as you can see, the ticket panel has been sent successfully. Now let's test it out. If you come and create a ticket, as you can see, it created a ticket here. If you wanna delete it, you just click on close. It will take a little some seconds, then click on close again, and then click on delete. You're going to delete the ticket in a few seconds. Anyway, now we are going to edit these messages in the ticket itself and in the panel here, as you can see, those messages. To do that, you're going to come back to this website and close this and just come to messages as you can see click on messages and then edit panel message right and then you come down embed editor and then you're going to edit the embed you can actually change the emoji change the text wherever you want let like just to create a ticket click on and then click on save if you want to edit actually this button as you can see you just come here and click on edit button and yeah, you can edit the text here and the emoji here, guys. You can actually select emojis from the emoji panel here. Anyway, guys, now we're gonna click on back, back again. If you wanna edit the ticket message, you just come here and yeah, here you're gonna find the welcome message. You can change it here. And then the embed, you're just gonna come here and click on embed editor and edit the embed as you wish. You can also do the message buttons, as you can see the closed button you can edit it by clicking here and the claim button you can edit it by clicking on here as you can see guys there is a bunch of messages you can edit here anyway now if you want to actually select a category for the closed and opened tickets just click on category and then here you're gonna select a category for the open tickets and a category for the closed tickets as you can see I actually created two categories and now we're gonna test this as you can see if we click here now we just got it the categories and now come again and select close save and now if we test actually opening the tickets create ticket it's going to be created here and if we close it it's gonna go down immediately close it's gonna change yeah as you can see guys and now you can delete it if you want to edit the permissions of people in the ticket just come to permissions and then the support team permissions what the support team can do for the ticket view channel manage permissions you want there and the ticket owner send for him and everyone rule actually i recommend to just leave them like this don't edit those and now if you want to select a support team rules you just come here and select the rules like the support team just select it will be able to delete and create and close new tickets and as you can see guys, actually there is a drop down style here. If you click on it, you're just gonna find this and just, it is empty. Just click on add item, like let's add two. For example, add, wait, what's happening? What's up? Okay, actually they were added. Now, you're just gonna select a name for it. For example, help, general help, general help. And this one is safety. For example, I'm just doing them. And then you're gonna select the panel, ticket help one. And then if you have if you have another panel, it's just gonna appear here. You need to make another panel actually for the safety one. To create a new panel, actually you just come here, come and click on plus, and then select the name or write the name, sorry, and then click on create 
and then just save guys as you can see you can edit the messages and stuff like that for example this panel is just going to be for the safety option you just come to messages you come to edit ticket message and then change here like something like the trust team will be with you shortly or something like that and click on save guys and then you just click on back back again you're gonna come and select the first panel actually come to the drop down style and come here again and select a panel which is new panel 2 and then save and now you just click on back and come here and select an update and yeah you're gonna bring the link to the message so you come here click on these three dots and come and click on copy message link you come here and paste it and just click on update panel guys and then save as you can see and now actually the channel just changed and it will be like this